How's it going everybody? When I made my three reasons why your teammates hate your video, I didn't think of something that someone pointed out in the comments. It was specifically about leaving or defending capture points. They pointed out that sometimes people do it on purpose. And that is because of orders. Orders do play a significant role when it comes to a player's behavior. Be that what hero they play, what class, from what faction, or in the case of my example, how they behave in game and thus the way they approach the whole match. And that is for a simple reason, people have limited amount of time to play games. And the other, way more important one, people want their stuff now. Right now. Whatever goal they have, whatever unlock they want next, it's always the chase of said thing. Done with one, on to the next. And orders do give a significant chunk of extra experience and steel. We can talk about this another time, the relation between match length, rewards, and whether doing an order is actually beneficial. I know you guys love maths. But even, <laughs> but even without looking at numbers, some orders do feel a little tedious and annoying. So people, as outlined before, tend to alter their playstyle around them. Someone in the past said the following about how orders need to be designed. Uh, they should happen organically. Yeah, great fucking insight, mate. You know who said that? Me. <laughs> Naive little old me. Thinking that players wouldn't go out of their way to get that tiny bit of extra reward, even if they hate themselves while doing it. Whole games are designed around this very concept, fooling people into doing one mindless grind after the other. Oh, you unlock that shiny new piece of equipment? Well, here's the next one. Have fun, buddy. Orders in For Honor are that, just to a lesser degree. It's about player retention, having them log in every day and doing their daily orders. And while they're at it, do the other, slightly bigger ones as well. I'm sure even many of you feel inclined to finish them all. Even if you don't usually play the game mode the orders are for, or play a specific hero that you don't enjoy as much. So some orders are done organically, by simply playing. While for others, you have to go out of your way to finish them. Regarding the latter portion of orders, we can make a distinction. Ones that simply don't fit in your current plan of leveling or for modes you only play just to finish it. The other sort of order is the one that makes you alter how you usually play a game mode, simply to be done with it, to the detriment of your performance. In short, finishing those orders sometimes comes at the cost of losing a game and at the cost of your teammates' enjoyment. And these are, at least to some degree, a little problematic. To what degree you are responsible for your teammates' enjoyment is a whole different debate and I opened that kind of worms in the past and got a lot of shit for it. People tend to be a little egoistic, and even more so online when it comes to complete strangers. Why would they care at all then? But be that as it may, it's hard to influence people's behavior without a clear incentive or reward for doing so. But what is possible is to slightly alter our orders to at least somewhat fit into that category, promote good behavior and reward them accordingly. Here we run into the problem that this would in theory mean that you design orders around winning. But then we once again have the problem that people will blame others for losing a match and self-reflection isn't a strong suit of gamers. Or people in general, I guess. Without even going down that rabbit hole, I think it's fair to say that promoting good gameplay without linking it to in-game success when it comes to orders is almost impossible. What we have right now is an attempt at that. Behavior that is necessary to win the match is already very much present in our orders. Capture points, kill opponents, and so on. So, at this point we have tricked the players into wanting to do the orders for the extra rewards, and they're actually doing it. If an order takes too long to finish, then they alter their playstyle. They are of the opinion that it requires too many matches to finish it. And the prime example here is the attacker order. The one that requires you to capture 20 zones in Dominion. The reward is too little for how much time it requires to be finished. It already gives the max amount of experience and steel, so in theory it is one of the best to finish. And once we reach this tipping point where a player doesn't care about anything else but to finish that order, then we are looking at badly designed one. Once again, in short, something needs to be done here. I think orders need to be looked at a little. So they incentivize players to keep playing, which is obviously their main goal, and at the same time promote better gameplay. 
I don't particularly care whether they lower the requirements for finishing it or up the rewards. To be fair, I'm not even sure whether increasing the rewards would do anything. The now, now, now mentality is still present. I'm sure Ubisoft has data on how long it takes an average player to finish an order in each reward category. The attacker one isn't the only one that people don't like doing. Vanguard orders with their 12 games are also quite absurd. Imagine being a breach player. It'll take you like four days to finish it or something like that. I think there should be enough data to streamline our orders. It's not the first time that some got removed or new ones were added. Personally, I don't care whether they take a long time to finish, even if the reward isn't up to par with it. I do care about orders though if they reinforce bad behavior in-game and lower the overall quality of a match. Doesn't matter whether it's someone on my team or the enemy team that is throwing the map. It's not high priority, I understand that, but I'm sure the community would appreciate it if orders didn't feel as much of a chore sometimes and are rather something that adds to the experience. But yeah, that's it. Let me know how you approach your orders. Are you finishing them all? Are you even doing them at all? Do you care about the XP or is it the steal? There is more to it when looking at the motivation for players. Having said all that, hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Laters everybody.